Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. This is the Casual Construction Series, and I'm an old guy gaming. And uh, <clears throat> I decided to bring you back sooner than I had originally planned because I, I'm changing things up just a little bit from what I uh, was originally going to do. So what I decided to do is come up <clears throat> excuse me, to the build location itself and start to kind of you know, lay out the foundation a little bit of the house and mostly for the for the purpose of determining you know where my my stairwell is going to come up from you know the garage down below um so this is what i've come up with here and i also um have moved things over uh to the west a little bit uh from where they were before they used to this used to be what i was considering the the center of this hill or maybe it was where this block is i can't remember um only because this stairwell in order to get it to come all the way up here and have you know clearance for my head it's basically four blocks in and i didn't want that to be right in the center of the floor so it's actually going to be up against the west uh, wall of the base here um <clears throat> so the plan now is we already know that our our elevation um is uh 111 meters uh, down below so we're just going to dig uh, down at an angle here until we get to 111 meters and then then you know at that point you know then we're level with the uh, the garage or what the garage will ultimately be right and from there we can um, then build out the rest of the garage and then cut through uh, to the road that way uh, we do have a wolf around so I'm kind of trying to be a little bit cautious I'm not he's not really close but that could change of course he does sound kind of close doesn't he okay I think we're into stone here now yeah so let's put that there and I might at a later point in time oh shit Oh, he's right there. Shit. Frickin' dire wolf, man. Holy crap. Nurse Nancy. Wow, he put the hurt on us, didn't he? Alright, let's take a big medi pack. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um I completely lost my train of thought. I can't understand why that happened, but... Okay. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. Um, I might line all of this uh, with wood at a later point in time, too, just to make it look nicer. Um, but for now, you know, we're just going to kind of keep it as it is. And we'll see, you know, how I'm feeling about it as we go along. It's kind of, I don't know, in, in a way, it's kind of neat to... Just kind of keep it earth, you know, earthy looking too. Because uh, I'm, you know, this is I, what I have in mind is basically like a cabin. So this is going to be kind of a rustic type of a build. Um, we'll probably build the the main house out of wood itself, but then paint it, you know, maybe to look like logs. Because um, I'm going to put an actual fence. My plan, anyways, is put an actual fence around the perimeter of the place, and the fence itself will be, you know, reinforced concrete, and we'll put some turrets up, maybe even some spikes or electric fences, for you know, for defense itself. So, you know, the zombo shouldn't be able to get to the actual house, um, you know, once those defenses are in place. Uh, so that that means I don't need to build the house out of like you know concrete and paint it later, because I think we'll be fine. At least I hope so. Okay, so let's put this next ceiling piece in here. And uh, we got a little bit more dirt here. Pretty soon we're going to be all the way down into stone. Well, actually, maybe not, because the, the land is also contouring down too, so... Might have a little bit more dirt for a while, uh, but this is stone, of course, so we're going to have to... Uh, nope. Get right there. Get our 
our stairs in. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm actually having, having fun doing this. Like I said, I haven't, I mentioned this in the last uh, casual construction episode, I haven't um, done any serious uh, extensive building in this game since Alpha 16, so kind of fun to kind of get back into that part of the game. definitely following the, the contour of the, the ground uh, down. Did I... I think I dug too deep there. Did I? Yeah, we did. So let's... I guess it doesn't really matter, but... I'll pop up that in there. Should start thinking about, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> checking our elevation here pretty soon. Let's go down one more uh, stair. Oh, we've got some gravel, which means there's some kind of a deposit right here. Wonder what that is. Okay, let's check our elevation. So we're at 119, so we need to go down eight more blocks to get uh, to the same level as the road. I'm hoping, too, that, you know, we're going to have enough clearance for the actual garage itself. I'd like it to be a little bit higher than just four blocks. Maybe, well, maybe we'll make it five or six blocks high, just so it has a little bit more of a spacious feel to it. Plus, if we kept it four blocks, it might screw with our camera while we're in our vehicle driving in. Um, yeah, I, even if... I, I don't care what that deposit is, because I wouldn't mine right there anyway. <laughs> well, you know, I guess we could do a little side mine. The thing is, though, is, you know, we're still following the contour of the slope, and I wouldn't want to break that open. So yeah, let's not let's not mess with that. We'll just forget it's there. Get those two guys in place. Digging at an angle in this game is sometimes it's it can be a little bit difficult to tell exactly what the orientation is. So I have to kind of move reposition a little bit to to figure that out sometimes. have to make some more stairs. Yeah, it looks like we're, we'll, we'll probably uh, be deep enough. 
Well, all right, so let's go here, stairs, and I don't know, let's make six more, because we're, I'm guessing that's probably close to where, where we are. Or how many more we'll need, rather, to get all the way down to 111. Let's see, are we level here yet? Okay, so let's check our elevation. So we're at 113. So, oh, shit, we only need to go down two more. <laughs> okay. Well, we might need those stairs for something else later, so. Nope, we still need to go down one more. See, I think this is where we need to be. There we go, 111. And uh, we're we're pretty close to our road, too. It's just not too many more blocks out that way. So um, that's a decently long stairwell, isn't it? Uh, coming up there. We might put some, you know, do some lighting and stuff down there, too, just to make it look cooler. Okay, well, now what we're going to do is we're going to punch out to the road. And uh, for now, I'm just going to leave that as a stone floor. So let's see how many blocks it's going to take to get to the road. I'm going to try not to damage the floor as much as possible. I think I nicked it earlier, but we can repair that with cobblestone. Um, in fact, yeah, let's make a little bit of cobblestone. I don't know, maybe a hundred. And then right here, I think I nicked it. Yeah, right there. Okay. It's kind of nice having the, the flame mod on the pick just because it lights things up a little bit better. Oh, wow, there's the road right there. Ooh, that doesn't give us um, a very large garage, does it? This is my, you know, where I originally was planning on going. Hmm. Well, okay. There's there's another way we could make this work, though. I uh, don't think we want to go too much further this way. Well, we could go that direction a little more because it's pretty steep there. Uh, but what I was thinking was, you know, have, <clears throat> have the stairwell along the wall and we could dig the garage, you know, more this way since we've already kind of started doing that anyway. Another... Another thing to consider is we could keep we could keep the stairwell in the center and dig the garage around it and then when we come into it, you know, and, and again keep think in terms of the four by four, because that's our largest vehicle, not so much a motorcycle. But we kind of come into it this way and we kind of circle around the back and then park the Jeep here, facing out that way. That, that could work. That could work. Uh, 
All right, well, let's do this. Let's punch through here. Well, that lines up perfectly with the wall there. Yeah, <clears throat> I was kind of hoping we'd have a little more, a little more space because my plan was to have the stairwell right up against the back wall. Wish we had the four by four now so we could actually use it to, you know, gauge size and that sort of thing or area. We might need to think about maybe digging like a moat and putting a couple of drawbridges on each end of this tunnel. Okay, well, we'll worry about that later. The thing about the Zombos is, you know, they won't come down here unless I'm down here. So if I'm, like, up in the house, for example, there's no reason, you know, for them to come down this way. Uh, let's eat some veggie stew. Unless, you know, but we could get a running horde that could just, you know, so happen to be running in this direction, which is certainly possible, too. But in that case, you, know, you almost kind of want to let them run through because if you block them, then they'll start banging on stuff. So we could, we could even just put like a couple of turrets down here for defense and call it good. Uh, all right. Well, hmm, I've got to think about this a little bit more. We could, we guess we could try and just make this area work. Um, but you know, carve it out this further back this way so it's it's kind of more shallow but long and then like i said the way we would work it is we would pull into this way go up against the back wall turn and then come back out this way so when we're parked the front of the 4x4 is on this end facing that way so we're ready to go when the time comes i think i'm going to try that and if it turns out that there's just not enough room to practically do that then you know, we can always make this wider uh, or deeper if we need to. So let's also make it um, makes make it so that the stairs are right in the center. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're six blocks that direction. So we want to go one, two, three, four, five. Six. So that's where we want to cut in here. Okay, let's take some boiled meat and a mineral water. Um, how... How far back is this, too? That's the other thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven blocks back. Okay. We might try and just leave it four high and see if that works. My main concern with that is that, it, like I said, it could kind of screw up our camera when we drive into it. We might not be able to see enough to get turned around. We could probably ascertain that by just using the motorcycle. Though, actually, the camera height on the 4x4 might be a little different than it is on the motorcycle. We need the 4x4. That's all there is to it. <laughs> we'll get one eventually.
Okay, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's it. I think that's the back wall there. Let's cut this way. Zoom tight. Okay, is this, this tunnel's actually only three blocks high. Why was I thinking it was four blocks high? Hmm, okay. Well, let's keep it at, at three until, you know, until we can do our little test to see uh, what's going to work best. So this has got to come back out. Just kind of leave that as it is for the moment. <clears throat> I hope we don't get a a cave in either. That's another thing that we might want to take into account. We could leave some pillars here in the center just for support. I could make some stone in the in the uh, concrete mixer and just fill this back in so we have just like a center column there uh, or we could maybe do two columns on either side and leave this opening here I don't know well I think for now what we'll do is let's take out this here And we'll also leave a column on the other side of that entryway. So we keep those supports there. We might not need them, but I'd rather have them and not need them than, you know, the other way around. Or we could actually put in like some concrete blocks for that purpose too. All right, guys, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep carving this out. And I think I'll cut the camera here, and then I'll bring you back uh, once I have have the whole little garage area carved out. All right, guys, we are back. Um, as you can see, I decided to go ahead and put, just put a column of cobblestone here, which we might upgrade later to, to concrete. Um, and uh, so we're going to take this last column out, and hopefully nothing collapses. I don't think it will, but... Yep, we're good. Okay. <laughs> um, you never know. You never know. The SI can be a little bit odd in this game sometimes. Okay, so um, let's hop on the motorcycle and let's just try something here. So if we come around, we're coming through and then we pull into here. Oh, the camera's working okay, at least on the motorcycle. 
and then we just pull here and park. Okay, so that works fine on the motorbike. The question is, are we going to have enough room to be able to do that in the 4x4? I'm thinking that's going to be really tight, but we won't really know for sure until we try it, you know? So, if I feel like we need more space for the 4x, what we'll do is we'll carve deeper uh, that direction to the south and, you know, and make it deeper, but we'll keep the stairwell in the center and go back far enough to where we can drive underneath um, the stairwell with uh, the 4x4 to get it turned around. But let's not do anything more with this for now until we, uh, you know, until we can try it and see, uh, you know, how it's going to work, okay? Uh, so I think that concludes, for the most part, our road building um, that we're going to do for this build. As far as this side of things goes, I mean, if we're going down, we just bail right off the top. When we're coming back up, we'll probably come back up through the draw there and then around this way. It's just going to make the most sense, I think, uh, to do that for getting back up here from this side. And then, of course, on the other side, on the west side, we have uh, west and south side, we have the already built-in road uh, ready to go. Uh, also put a, a torch here for a little bit of light. But later on, you know, we'll get power going and we might put some actual electrical lighting down here and... Uh, probably put some turrets up too. Uh, maybe we'll even put a turret or two across the way here pointing that direction. So if Zekers do come in here, the turret just takes them out. Um, And still toying a little bit with the idea of maybe a drawbridge too. I don't know, but that's something we'll do later. We don't need to do that sort of thing right now. So the next thing I want to do is I think I want to go ahead and start bringing our crafting stations up here and, and essentially start moving up here. Um, the question though at that at the moment is where do I actually want to put them? The thing is is that once we bring them up here, um, well, I'm, I'm just trying to think of how I'm going to handle the land claim block situation because as soon as we pull the land claim block up from our current house, then, you know, sleepers are going to start repopping in there. So, and I don't, I don't even know, I'd, I'd kind of like to maybe keep that place as a, a secondary base just because it is so close to the trader, but I don't know. That's probably not necessary. But the thing is, is I want to be mostly moved out of there before we actually pull the land claim block up. But we need to keep the land claim block down in order to pick up our crafting stations that we currently have. Um, so it might not be a bad idea. I think we did find a beaker, so we could actually make new crafting stations and just leave those there for now until we get mostly moved out here. And then we could go pick the rest of those up and then bring everything out here. Maybe that's what we'll try and do. So that means we need to go back to the base and we need to um I was just thinking if I want to do something with that mess over there. It's too bad that tunnel collapsed. That would uh man. I mean I can put the I can put the blocks down, but I don't know if can we plant grass? We can. Oh, okay. So we could put the dirt back down over there and then just plant some grass over the top of it and then it probably would be okay. I don't know if if the lawn, you know, the lawn texture will reappear on dirt that you've placed down. It used to, but I don't know if it still does that or not. I guess we'll we'd have to set it down and try and find out. So the other thing I've been pondering is um, where, where we're going to put the garden. So the, the width of this place is going to be the, uh, out to here, right? So that's 11 blocks wide and that's plenty, you know, plenty of width. So we'll have to build this out further that way. And then we'll probably build a little further out this way too. But what we could do is we could do some, you know, um, earth moving out a little further this way and then have like the garden kind of out on top of this ridge and then enclose the whole place you know like I said with a fence um that's one thing we could do or uh we could just have the garden you know maybe down there in that flat area like do like a little field almost 
uh, for all the crops and not worry about, you know, trying to enclose them. Because the zombies aren't going to mess with our crops um, if we're not, you know, if we're not down in them anyway. So they'll, they'll leave them alone. So we could have, you know, because we have that nice little flat spot right there. And that's where we could, you know, put a field, so to speak, for the crops. And then have a nice big old garden going. This area over here is somewhat level two. So yeah, I'm gonna have to give that some thought. Not really sure uh, yet how I wanna handle that. So anyway, back to here now, what we could do is my thought was that I could put some plates in rather than, you know, full blocks. And the reason I would do that is just so we have a little bit more height inside of the tunnel than we would if we put full blocks down. So if we did that, though, we might need to, we probably would need to build in some supports into the wall. Hmm. All right, well, you know what? Let me think about that some more, too. <laughs> I know, I keep saying, look, I'll think about that. I'll think about that. Uh, the other thing I've been pondering is, um, you know, maybe paving this whole roadway, too. Um, not not necessarily this part, but this part, because I think it would look nice to see that all paved uh, from the, you know, from our house. So, yeah, this was the other spot we could put the garden in. I don't like that it's kind of far away from the house if we do that. I mean, it's not super far away, but it's a little bit far away. But it would it'd be kind of nice to see it, though. Have a nice little field of veggies growing as a part of our view. Um, so yeah, there's, I don't know, there's just a lot of different ways we could potentially do all this stuff. More stuff to think about. But I think that the next thing that I want to work on is I want to work on, um, getting crafting stations set up out here and, you know, start actually moving out here because, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to keep going back to the base in town where all of our stuff is to get stuff that we need to build this place. Um, so we're going to kind of move out here as we build it, essentially. The one other thing I was thinking about is it takes quite some time to get up these stairs. And I was just thinking about maybe we have an alternative ladder, you know, uh, to get up here. Because, you know, we can sprint up the ladder much more quickly. But I want to leave the stairs in place, you know, more for the aesthetics of it. But if we did the, the ladder idea, I guess the question then is, where is it going to come up at? We could have it come up here and put it like a, a hatch there, I suppose. Well, no, that's not going to work very well either because I wanted to put... Um, I'm going to put rails along here so we can't have something else in this spot if we're going to do rails. This will, this will of course, be the wall here, so. Um, well, I don't know. Maybe we'll... Let's, let's look at that again. So if we're sprinting up the stairs... Uh, you know, we could jump, actually. That speeds it up a bit. That's probably not going to be... Uh, I mean, if we did the ladder thing, sprinting up the ladder, that's probably not going to be that much faster to, to make it worthwhile. So, yeah, maybe we'll just do that. We'll just, we can do like a little sprint hop thing up uh, to get up that. Yeah, that's not too bad. That works okay. We run out, <laughs> run out of stamina towards the top. Uh, okay, so anyway, let's see. Crafting stations. So we have a couple of, there's a couple of ways we could do this. I could put them up here uh, in the house. Um, or we could put them, temporarily put them down in the, in the garage. It actually would probably be better to have them up here because then they're just closer at hand. So if that's the case, um, we should probably... 
work on finishing out the foundation of the house here. And so that being the case, let's do that. So we're going to need a whole bunch more wood frames. Uh, let's do at least a hundred more and I'm sure we'll need more than that too. And let's start building this out. Another thing I'm not, you know, entirely sure about yet is if, you know, what the actual shape of the house is going to be. Um, in other words, do we want to put like a, a couple of wings on it or something like that? So it's just not a plain old square or rectangle. Um, those sorts of things. That was weird. But let, let's go ahead and start, you know, with the rectangle idea. And um, yeah, let's start with that. And I, something just occurred to me, but I need to think think it about it a little bit more before I share it with you guys. Because what I just thought of might actually work for our purposes. So we're going to need to fill in a little bit of uh, dirt along in here. How much dirt do I have? Thirty-seven. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more of that too. So let's let's do like a hundred more of those. I have a few, some dirt back at the base too, but before this is all said and done, we're probably going to be using a lot of dirt. So we'll pick that up. So bring that out to there. Let's let me just double check my count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, that's right. Okay. <clears throat> so we're gonna need another row of dirt along here. So I have the right angle here. Let's just kind of keep bringing this out. Um, I guess that's the next thing we should decide too, is how f how um, wide do we want the house to be? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight at the moment. I mean... We could make it a square. Uh, or we could make it a little bit longer than it is wide or a little bit narrower than it is wide. Not really sure what I want to do there. Let's get right about in the center here. So that's... Um, right here so okay so that would be 9 10 11 so if we stop there that would make it a perfect square we wanted to make it a little bit longer 12 13 14 15 bring it out that way this is going to be a, a pretty spacious cabin <laughs> um If, you know, if we decide to do it that way. Or we could keep it a square. See, I don't, I'm not even sure I want it to be this wide. I'm making this up as I go. I have not, you know, pre-sketched anything out. And I've only just had some general ideas in my head about this. Um, so, I'm still kind of toying with the idea of keeping the garden up here, though. And if that, if we do that, we don't really want it to go, 
Not too much further this way with the house. So if we stop here, then then it would that basically this would be a square. Okay, yeah, I, I think I think we're gonna make it a square. And remember, this is just the, the foundation and the ground floor too. We might I might end up making this like a two story building and then I we can kinda change things up for the second story uh, later. Alright, so let's pull these back out here and put some dirt in here. Might have to put some dirt around this too, but let's get the rest of the blocks in place first, and then we'll see what, what we're dealing with. Yeah, having the garden down there would look cool for you know as far as the view goes, but I think I want to have it closer to the house. So let's fill this in. Oh, did I go too far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, that's too far. So we don't need this row here. There we go. Okay, so what we could do out here then is... We could maybe have the garden be on this level and dig out all of this dirt. It's either a matter of digging out dirt or building up dirt. Digging out dirt gives us materials and XP. I don't think building up dirt gives us XP. And then maybe we could have like a little stairwell leading down to the garden area. Let's get this all flattened out here though. Oh, we need to fill this in too. Just so it's... Oh, wait a minute. Nope, nope. I meant to put a block down there, not a thing of dirt. Okay, we'll have to put dirt there. We need to also build up this corner too. Like that. Okay. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Why do I keep putting blocks here? <laughs> I don't know. Uh alright, so let's see. I really wish we didn't have those stupid crop plots. I hate those things. I much, much preferred when we could just till the ground. It was more, felt more realistic too. Um, so let's shave this back off. I went out a little too far here.
So we could maybe do a bit of a compromise. If we go down two blocks, so we shave it down two blocks, but then when we get more over to here, then we'll have to build it back up so everything's nice and level. Uh, but we're going to also, you know, be filling things in with crop plots too, so we so that will raise it up another block again. All right, what I think I'm going to do is... Um, wait, what are you doing? Yeah, that's going to screw that up. I have to kind of determine, too, how far this way I want to actually go with the garden. I'm not planning on making a ginormous garden. Maybe out to here, I'm thinking. If we do crop plots and we do them like every other plot, we'd be it'd be one, two, three, four, five, five or six rows. All right. Well, I think what I'm gonna do is um, we're definitely gonna come down another block this way. So let's start shaving this off like so and I think too guys at this point I'm gonna cut the camera again and just do some digging do some thinking about this and then I'll bring you back when I have a little bit more of a, a plan in mind uh, for how this is gonna go okay so I'll see you guys in a bit all right guys I'm back um, so I'm um, I believe I'm gonna go out this far uh, with the garden area. So I've already put all the frames down to kind of level out uh, the ground. And so uh, this was all dug up here. And then, of course, we're going to have to fill in this corner. But I got to thinking before I continue with that, I think I want to go ahead and start working on the actual wall itself. Um, so my plan for defense, now, uh, keep in mind, of course, this isn't going to be a horde base, but we are going to get screamers um, coming in and screamer hordes if I don't manage to kill them in time. So uh, I, I think I'm just going to do a stout wall. Um, we're going to eventually set up some turrets, and then I myself will also, um, you know, kill kill zombies at, when they come in. And we might, uh, what I think I'm going to do is, you know, just have the wall, you know, come all the way out to here. This is going to be the, you know, the wall of the house itself, but then we'll have like a... Um, uh, essentially a deck um, all the way um, surrounding a two block wide deck uh, surrounding the house and then I can just come out here as you know needed when we get zombies and just you know shoot them and then I might even do like a layer of iron spikes all around the perimeter too just to kind of help because the the thing about the spikes is they'll kill they'll often kill the screamer you know just right out uh, or outright rather and then once we get turrets in place, of course, the turrets will help them too. So as long as the screamer doesn't see me, because I'll be in the house doing stuff, um, the base should, for the most part, kill the screamers on its own. And if it doesn't, or if we get a, a running horde in, you know, then I just take care of them. And then we have a little bit of repair to do maybe on the wall and we're good to go. And of course, the wall itself will be upgraded to at least reinforced concrete. So I think that's the plan. So I want to kind of get the wall in place next. And I'm going to actually do it with, with wood frames, and then I'll upgrade the wood frames. And, uh, you know, first to cobble and then to concrete. And w the advantage of doing that is that it uh, you get more XP, as opposed to just building, like, rebar and then doing the concrete right away. The disadvantage is that it takes longer, and you have to wait, you know, for it to cure and then go over it again. But here again, you get more XP. At least you did in 18. I haven't actually tested that theory in uh, Alpha 19 uh, to see if that's still the case. So it might not be a bad idea to do a little test and see uh, if that's changed at all. Now, I want to... Um, 
let's put a couple blocks in here to just designate the corners, uh, the corner of the house itself. So I kind of keep my my bearings on everything here. So this is the other corner. This is a corner here. And this is a corner. Okay. Yeah, you know, this I don't think this place is going to be ginormous. I mean, once we get the walls in place, I think it's going to be just about right in terms of the size, at least for the bottom floor. My plan is to have the bottom floor be the crafting area, and then the second floor will be kind of like the living area that we'll, that we'll build out. Okay, so let's continue uh, with the wall here. And uh, I think I'm going to I'm going to pick up all of these frames because they don't need to stay here now. I was just using them to, you know, level out the dirt. It just makes it easier to dig. I'm going to keep that. Uh, these here, though, because this is actually going to be the far wall, um, the basically the south wall. Uh, and I'll have to kind of dig that out later so that it's even. But we are going to come further out this way. Two more blocks, in fact. So let's do that actually right now. There. So I'll, I'll dig all of this away so we actually have a, a solid wall there uh, when the time comes. But let's pick up the rest of these because we're going to need to reuse them. Whoops. Okay, and then um, let's come up here. I might dig out another block down this way too, just to get that filled in properly. Or what we'll do, yeah, yeah, I think we will. Okay, so let's um, let's just kind of finish the perimeter first, and then we'll worry about that in a bit. So we want to come to out to that way, and then this comes down to there. Let's get up here. Zombo over there. That's the first Zombo we've seen in a while. Game's leaving us alone for the moment. Now watch it. Watch it bring in a running horde now. Okay, it looks like I went one block too wide on this end. So we'll fix that. So these blocks don't go there. You know, if we wanted to, I guess we could maybe put a gate out this way. Perhaps. Mayhaps, perhaps. Okay, so let's dig this out. I 
want to turn this way so I can kind of see what's going on here. Okay, so we got the perimeter of our wall set up. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now is uh, we need to to build uh, all of this up uh, with dirt. So I have a bunch of dirt blocks, so we'll get that done. And then I think I'm going to make a buttload of cobble, but... We really need to go back to the house because I, I still have some dirt and cobble and a bunch of cement there that we're going to need anyway. So I think what I'm going to do is let's get this uh, filled in uh, first and then we're going to go back down to the house and you know get some stuff. I also want to look at what uh, resources we have to make... Uh, some crafting stations so we're going to want you know forges out here we're going to want the kim bench we're going to want a workbench at least one and eventually like i said I'll, I'll move all of that stuff out here but um we're going to kind of keep that base intact for just a little bit longer until i'm ready to just move everything out here Okay, and then we got a little bit in here to fill in. And this needs to be dug out. flattening this out just a little bit here because what I think we might end up doing is making this a a little gate coming out the back here of course I'd kind of rather have it be in the center which is right here I think right yeah so the gate would come out this way Okay, well, you know what? I'm not I'm not too terribly worried about that right now. That's not too important. Okay, so this whole area out here will end up being our garden. And um, I might, even though it's going to make things kind of crowded and a bit of a pain in the butt to harvest, just to maximize space, I might just put fill the whole thing in with crop plots. all pretty much flattened out but that's all going to be covered with crop plots anyway so it kind of doesn't matter okay so we're out of frames um i'm going to need to cut some more wood too because we're getting low on wood and we're going to need a lot more frames uh, to get this done so Okay, guys, well, I think this is probably a good stopping point uh, for this episode. And uh, what I'm going to do is go back to the base and just grab a bunch of supplies and also, uh, you know, see what we have. Well, you know what? Maybe I'll keep it with me a little bit longer. Let's, let's just head on back down there. And we'll take a look and see. Oh, look. That's like the first pig I've seen in this series. They're really rare nowadays. They're also tough, too. <laughs> I didn't want to uh, damage the carcass uh, because then you don't get as much harvest from it. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I've if if I've seen another pig so far in this series. They're they're much rarer than they used to be. On the other hand, 
you know, wolves seem to be more abundant. And of course, then rabbits and chickens are all over the place, which is a good thing. Guess we need to go this way, don't we? So yeah, we'll go back to the base. We'll see what resources we have to make um, some crafting stations. Um, ultimately, you know, I don't know that I really need two chem benches. I'm going to want probably at least three forges. Uh, one for, you know, one for metal, one for cement, and one for ammunition. That's usually what I do. Um, I like to have at least two workbenches, which we already have, and we could pick one of those up and just bring it straight out here, because we don't need to keep two at the normal base at the moment. And then, um, you know, just the one Kim bench. I'll have to see uh, how much acid we have, because we're going to need to make at least four more wheels. So we want to make sure we have enough acid for that, and then it takes, I believe, five acid to make a, a Kim bench. I mean, I, I suppose having two Kim benches is not a bad thing, because then we can double our production on gunpowder and other stuff. I should probably cut those trees down, too, while I'm here, since that's really what they're for. It's my tree farm. Or maybe cut every other one down or something. I don't have anything in here, do I? That needs to be offloaded. Nope. Oh man, you know what? Darn it. I had a drop chest up there. I could have grabbed all that stuff. I guess, actually no, let's just leave it up there because we're going to be hauling stuff from here up to there anyway. Alright, what do we got going on in here? So, cement. I want you to make... I'm not going to feed anything more into this forge. We're going to use what's in there. So we also got iron. The clay I'm not worried about. So we'll make a shitload of forged iron. And uh, as much cement as we can. And uh, once that's done, you know, then we'll pick this forge up and take it up to the place. We could probably just take this up right now. So let's go ahead and pick this up. I'll probably event want to have two cement mixers in total. So we can make another one. Okay, so we got that. Uh, let's do that now. I'm going to keep this workbench here for now, but this one we're going to pick up and take with us. But before we do that, um, let's get another cement mixer going. So, let's see, what do we need for that? We're going to need an engine and iron and mechanical parts and probably electrical parts. Let's see, what else do we need for a cement mixer? Whoops. Uh, oh, we need springs, not electrical. Okay, so we'll grab the springs. And we'll get that going in here. So I think we'll probably be okay with just two cement mixers. We'll see. We can always make more later if we need to. Okay, so we got that going now. Um, what do we need for a chem bench? Chemistry station. So we need... Uh, 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 five bottles of acid. How much acid do we currently have? Oh, we got 16. Yeah, we got tons. Okay, so let's put that there. Um, <clears throat> said we need iron, which we already have. Uh, we're going to need three cooking pots. So let's actually stop all of this for a minute. Oops. We need three of those. What else? Um, 30 iron pipes. Sure, we have... Those. And then the beaker that we have is here. Okay. So that's making the cement mixer. Let's make the other chem bench in here then. Oh, what are we missing? Oh, yeah, the pots. There we go. 
yeah, we'll just end up having two chem benches. I mean, no harm in that other than the fact that it'll generate even more heat, but so what? Screamers come in, we kill them. We get screamer hordes, we kill them, we get more XP and possible bags, so it's all worth it in the end, right? All worth it in the end. Okay, so the other thing I want is I want some forges. Um, we want a total of three forges, I think, but we'll keep this one here for the moment and let it finish doing... Or, you know, making everything that it currently has fed into it. Let's grab this cement. And then, um, so we need two more forges. All right, so what do we need for forges? We need stone, clay, leather, duct tape, and iron pipes. Um, I'm going to offload a couple of things here. Okay, so we've got stone, we've got clay, we've got iron pipes. I believe we need duct tape. So let's take half of this glue and turn that into duct tape. And we can we can make the forges in our own inventory. Oops. Oh, leather. Right, right, okay, yeah. Why am I crouched? Okay, so that'll make those two forges, and then, like I said, we'll pick this one up when we're done with it and take it up there, too. So you're making... Oh, shit, that's going to take a while. It used to take... You used to be able to make those really quickly, but now it takes a lot longer. All right, guys. Well, I think I am going to let you go here, so I'm just going to wait until all this stuff is done. And then we'll bring it up uh, to the house and, uh, you know, set it down. And then um, probably keep working on the wall uh, for the next thing. We're getting close to the next level, and I'm working on Fortitude right now. Um, so that we can get our machine gunner up are living off the land up to three when the time comes so we can do the garden and then pain tolerance and healing factor that's kind of what we're working on right now for skills um i'm gonna let you go here thanks for watching hope you enjoyed we will catch you in the next episode Bye bye